you know, the the fighting, the fencing scene. Oh, classic. With, <laughs> it's just so, it's so 90s and I love it. And and mm. actually that scene, whenever she's, you know, she's like, ah, ah, and, <laughs> and like the, the blood just sprays everywhere. <laughs> For some reason, it made me think of that scene in Zootopia <laughs> whenever all the little bunnies are right. acting out and like the fake blood yeah. comes out and they're like, blood, 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 death. Like it just. Well, let's stick to the theme here of, of, of uh, gothic, you know, asshole people in their movies. When a man claiming to be Fester, the missing brother of Gomez Adams, arrives at Adams' home, the family is thrilled. However, Morticia begins to suspect the man is a fraud since he cannot recall details of Fester's life. With the help of the lawyer Tully Alford, Fester manages to get the Adams clan evicted from their home. And it keeps going because this is from the 90s. They didn't know how to do synopsis. So we know what the movies are. <laughs> now, if you're just joining us or if you've been here the whole entire time, if you don't know, now you know. We do our one sentence review. Let's kick it off with Jason. One sentence review for the Adams family. The first one, well, the movie 1991. <laughs> yes, we still don't know what happened to the real Fester. Maybe he's back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lisa, hit us. Okay, Adam's family, one sentence review. They do what they want to do, say you what they want to say. No! Oh, I can't no! get family. Yay. Oh, you stole mine. Adam, you stole hey, mine. hey, Adam, <laughs> <laughs> that was legitimately what I was going to do. You were going to end day. it with they're my kind of family? <laughs> How does your sentence end, sir? Is the exact it same ends way? with the Adams family. Uh, that's what it, um, you know what? I don't it's even care anymore. Same. Let's just move on to this great, great movie. <laughs> you ruined my life, Lisa. <laughs> oh. Listen. Yes, yeah, so I'll jump right in there. So yeah. uh, I love this movie. Um, I forgot how much I love this movie. I forgot how good Raul Julia is. And I mean, everybody thinks about his role as in Bison. And this one re refreshed me and said, oh my God, he, this, the, the charisma that just pops off the screen in every scene he's in. The biggest thing though, I realized is that I think I always intertwine this one and the second one almost together yes. and realize yeah. like the kids don't have much to do in this one compared no. to the second one when they have a lot more to do. But I think that's also because the story is a lot more streamlined in this one, and the kids are a lot younger. Um, Christopher Lloyd, we can't say enough, and I know you guys are going to dote about him, so I'm going to let you guys handle that heavy lifting for me. Oh, Christopher Lloyd, this is the Raw Julia show, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Again, but he's great as like a festival. But I also, I, don't, I, I guess for me, I, I didn't remember as much of the first one. And I guess because, you know, the second one came out later, but it is so much of the macabre in this one that it is just – overflowing and i remember in the wednesday review i said how they should have opened wednesday the opening for this is just terrifyingly satisfying with like <laughs> dumping the hot toy tar oil on the the carol is like that's just such a beautiful way to start the, the movie but then even the scene where like he's opening the books and every book has a different thing like it's blowing wind i mean it's so much in this movie that to enjoy without even caring about the movie um the other portion of this that I thought was just very, very amusing for me is that I know we had a the theme of Tim Burton and I get now why they wanted Tim Burton to do Wednesday because even watching this initially, I go, did Tim Burton direct this? Yeah. And you realize, no, nope, he didn't direct it. And right. that's Sonnefield. even better. <laughs> right. Yes, it was. And you start looking at Barry Sanfield's listings, men in black. And I'm like, yeah. oh my God, like it all yeah. feels like this could all be in the same universe, except yeah. we did do Wild Wild West and we will not ever miss Honestly, that movie again. If you looked at the credits of the Adams family, I believe that the exact same font as Men in Black. It is. It is. They probably only it bought is. one font. They we probably use only it. bought one font. <laughs> right. It's $16,000 dollars this font. Gotta and use, they it had to use it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, so going through this, and, and that brings up a beef that I had, I guess, with Catherine Zeta Jones's Morticia versus here with Angela Hudson. And I think it's more of a visual look thing for me it almost feels like morticia in the movie is just floating on air oh, she's yeah. just the love like it just she has a presence about her that is just so mm -hmm. almost domineeringly sexy but also yeah. macabre but just almost ghouly ghostly like 
I, the thing I thought about, and it's a sad, it's funny, but you know the the BJ scene in Ghostbusters, like she, it like how it was kind of hot but weird. That's what I felt watching this. <laughs> like, What's going this on? Hot, it's so weird. <laughs> I don't understand why my pants are getting so tight. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, no, it 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 was refreshing. I probably haven't watched this movie in forever. So it was kind of good coming back to it and being like, oh. I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot how funny this is. I think, you know, and um, Mama Adams definitely needs to be in Wednesday season two. Oh, yeah. Well, she's they dead, need to cast. Yeah, she's great. She's, yeah. <laughs> she really shines in the second one, I feel like, more. Because when yes. the baby comes along and, <laughs> and she she's talking about something like, um how they used to, like, torture the children or something like that. And, right. And Debbie says, oh, uh, you could do that, or you you can do that, and she's like, not anymore. It's <laughs> <Right. laughs> like, oh my god, I love her I love, so much. Uh, when she finds, like, I guess a human uh, bone in her in her soup, and like Fester and Pugsley are laughing. She's like, this is for dinner, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> yeah, so good, so good. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I play with your food. Great, great movie, so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Lisa, would you like to uh, okay. to espouse upon? So I, I it has not been years for me since I've seen this movie. I actually watched it like last week before you said let's watch this one. So I had just watched it. <laughs> You're like done. <laughs> yeah, and um, I as soon as it came on Netflix, I I watch it all the time. I probably watch Adam Stanley Values more uh, than this one, but um, yeah, this is just one that it's just so funny and. You know the the fighting the fencing scene. Oh, classic! With, <laughs> it's just so it's so nineties, and I love it. And and mm-hmm. actually, that scene whenever she's you know she's like ah, ah, and, <laughs> and like the the blood just sprays <laughs> everywhere. For some reason, it made me think of that scene in Zootopia <laughs> whenever all the little bunnies are right. acting out and like the fake blood comes out and they're like, blood, 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 death. Like it just like, <laughs> gave me that same energy and I don't know why. But um, I I think Angelica Houston is just kind of one of those eerie untouchable people that like Mm -hmm. she just she exudes like she always has a secret and i think that that's why she's so sexy in this movie you know like she Mm -hmm. does like you don't kind of ever really know what she's thinking but you kind of do and and you you know she always kind of is giving little smirks to (laughs) gomez and she's so quiet when she speaks, you know, and she's always just so, oh, she's so cool. I would, I would love for her to be my mom. I love my mom. I love you, mom. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, she is, she's cool, you know, and, um, and, uh, Thing, I remembered, uh, Thing having a bigger part, but, um, uh, mm-hmm. but I think well, because he had had such a big part in Wednesday that we had just seen, you know, like. And that was pretty big technology, I think, at that time. Yeah, thing was kind of groundbreaking because they didn't yeah. know how to do it. Because he was supposed to be like just a stop motion animated hand, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Oh, I think we could do it this way." And they actually like was one of the first like where they blue screen a person out and 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 comped him out of the shot. And you can kind of see, especially at the top of them, where there's mm-hmm. that like line where they're comping yeah. him out of the yeah. shot. But it's still it still yeah. is very it it's holds very up, mm-hmm. you know, to this it does day. Hold up. Yeah. And, and then like, you know, just like funny little things. Like remember in the nineties, it was very comical to like for husband and wives to hate each other. So yeah. you have the, the lawyer husband oh, yeah, and the yeah. wife just like bickering and her being like, why did I, why did we, why did I marry you again? And he's like, I said, yes. Like, yeah. he's like, this. <laughs> you know, this, this, yeah. It's so kind of, um, what was that? Married with children. You know, like it's yes. so 90s and I love it. I love which, it. I love it. I love it. Which is always why Adam's family was kind of refreshing, even though they're, they're these weird people who like don't really understand like the normal ways of society. They're always been like this super loving family. Like, yes, you know, the Gomez and Morticia always let their kids just like, you know, 
explore what they want to explore. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they're it's they're not they never chastise them. You know, only time you know they are chastised is when they're not going to their full potential. Like when Wednesday is carrying the knife, she's like, Is that for your brother? And she's like, Oh, that won't do. And she gets him like the bigger hat. The bigger knife. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, (laughs) it's just like stuff like that, which is one of the reasons why I wasn't so keen on the Adams family in the Wednesday show is because you don't really get that like closest connection. And maybe it's because, you know, Wednesday in the show is a teenager and this one. She's a little girl. Yeah, I didn't realize how young they were. Yeah. And And which is funny because like I think between this one and the next movie is when Wednesday becomes the older sister. (laughs) Because Uh, so so I Googled it. And um, she's she's the older sister in the first one. In, in the she's one older than now. Pugsley. Mm-hmm. That, and that's the first time that they changed it. Yeah. Is it? Wow. I, I thought it. She looks she younger than the Pugsley. Younger sister in the in this one in these. I I googled it when Jason talked about it. We can double check, but she's definitely mm. the younger sister in the show. In the show, oh, yeah. In the because she's the, a little baby. Yeah. And then. Um, because isn't she the older sister in the second one? I don't know. She looks, I, in, in, for me, I have not I seen the second one in a while. I thought they were twins too, but and somehow she over the last twenty five years she became the older sister. Uh, but yeah, this movie is great. <laughs> like me and my son are sitting here and we're just cackling at this this nineteen ninety one movie, and it's just like Raul Julia, rest his soul. Rest in peace. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. I have the answer. So evidently, earlier adaptations, she was the younger sibling, while later adaptations depict her as the older sibling. So mm. I guess it's whatever adaptation you're going to look into is what yeah. determines who she is or if yeah. older or younger. So <laughs> look, uh, when Adam's family value comes along, that's where my Christina Ritchie uh, fandom started. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's all that really matters to me. <laughs> that's when I started wearing all black and 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 wanting to be. I can't remember the uh, the, the actor's name that that were her her boyfriend in that movie, but I was like, I would not have screamed when the 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 hand comes out of the grave and grabbed me. I would have been like, this is fun. Please marry me. <laughs> when <she asked. laughs> I can't remember what his name was, but I remember his parents called him Mr. Woo Woo. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. they were way, horrible people. Raul Julia, the, the, the greatest thing about him as an actor was like, no matter what he was in, especially in that terrible, terrible Street Fighter movie, he's always playing to the cheap seats. He's always like, it just seems like he's having so much fun doing this like mm-hmm. and, and in this movie he is like he's eating he's just straight like you know going as as all out as he possibly can and like you could tell that like, there's so much joy in his portrayal mm-hmm. of this character and like that is like 95 percent of this movie is just watching him just be so joyful and playing uh gomez and having fun and doing this you know uh christopher lloyd he's good too he's great uh oh. especially <laughs> <laughs> But the cool thing about Angelica, Angelica Houston is, especially the way that it's like the, the way they shoot her, she has like that. Uh, they always have like a, a key light over her eyes. Mm-hmm. So it was always like that 1940s, like femme fatale, like in a yes. noir movie sort of lighting to her. So that's what always gives it that air of like mystery and stuff like that. So they like, it's not just her portrayal, which is also very, very good, but it's also just like, the way the movie treats her as well. And it's just like, it all just comes together to form this delightful, delightful movie. And it's, it's just so much fun. And I haven't seen this movie in like 20 years. And I always thought, I literally thought this would be one of those movies where I come back to it and it's going to be like, this does not hold up. <laughs> no, and yeah. let, you know, you know, a good reason why it, it's held up so well, the scene uh, when they're selling the lemonade. And the Girl Scout comes oh. up and she says, is it made of real lemons? And she was like, are your cookies <laughs> made of real, real Girl Scouts? Girl Scouts? <laughs> Such good. And that is Mercedes <laughs> McNabb. And I watched it, I'm like, oh, that's Mercedes McNabb. And <laughs> yeah. yes, it gave me even more enjoyment. You know, shout out to my Buffy and Angel fans. Mm. Um, I think she gets to yeah. expand her role in the second one. But yeah, so good. It's so much good stuff. Yeah, I'm- she does. Good. Yeah, and the second one, she's they're doing the swimming lessons and they need someone <laughs> oh, to yeah. play the drowning victim. And she's like, I'll be the victim. And Wednesday's like, all of <laughs> all your, your life. life. <laughs> <laughs> all your life. And like, that's so, what's so great about like the Adams family is like, they're not 
you know, ha ha, there's a joke. It's like, it's just so subtle. And it's only because someone else is just being over the top and they come back in with, with a zinger. Yes. And it's uh, so good. So, so very good. We should do the Dad's Family Values for the next week's show. Listen, just... it's <laughs> so good. We should. It's so good. <laughs> but, I mean, guys, uh, do we want to go into our ratings? Do we still want to continue to, to, to gush over the show like Jaren gushes over the Ghostbusters? Let's go. Um, I'm ready for ratings. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. All right. If you uh, haven't joined us before, and if you're joining us right now, if you don't know, now you know, we do a little rating system. If it's good, it's a head. If it's mid, it's a cannon. If it's trash, it's a circus. Jason, what would you rate the overall story of this movie, uh, The Adams Family? Oh, it's definitely a head. That, like, the, the whole fester scheme and then taking over the house and it, it's all good. Again, I forgot how good the plot was in this movie. Like, <laughs> I, I, I wanted because I couldn't remember what the plot was. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is right. It's just years. Be... Yeah. <laughs> Even... <laughs> Even Gomez going to represent himself, just classic. <laughs> like, so good. So good. And the fun, the fun thing is about it's like that line is like, they say that, you know, whoever represents himself, you show me a fool for a lawyer. And he's like, well, today I'll be that fool. Be that fool. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he immediately, like, nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, Lisa. Gomez calling this the um, Sally Jesse, Sally Jesse Raphael about <laughs> yes! the cult. And she's like, Mr. Adams, for the last time, we don't know where <laughs> they are. <laughs> I mean, oh he, he's God. lost everything, and now she she just ejected him even more. She can't even uh, let him join a cult. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Yeah, it's a head. It's it's great, and it doesn't even like. I just feel like it's still is still it's aged well. The jokes aren't yeah. overly misogynistic. They're not overly, you know, what like you know problems we run into with a few of the past ones like it it's just a good movie it's just a good movie it's head. There's no implied sexual sexual assaults <laughs> yeah there we go thank you yeah, yeah. <laughs> i too will give the story of this movie ahead uh it's just one of the greater things that come out of the 90s uh let's go with performances uh we've already rate you know raved about them let's just go ahead and give them a rating because we are selfish people jason what hmm. would you rate this uh head head lisa head and uh, Jason Ade Baker would also give it a head. Uh, <laughs> now, let's see here. Here, in terms of, let's just go with in terms of comedy, just so we can start, you know, end on a great note. How would we rate this? Go ahead, Lisa or Jason. Jason, you go first. <laughs> uh, comedy, uh, I'm gonna give it a hit. Like, I, I did chuckle out loud a few times. <laughs> chuckle out loud a few times, Lisa. Yep, head. I, I lulled. I lulled. <laughs> well. I ruffle my old and then <laughs> shot my pants. I'm laughing so loud. <laughs> I'll also give it a head as well. So that's a three sweep head. Here we go. Yes, everybody, give it the heads. Yay! <laughs> Raise the roof. They still do that, right? They still, kids still do that? Raise the roof? Is that a thing? No, you get it now because you're, gonna, you're a trendsetter. I'm oh, yeah, yeah. He's bringing it back. Everything, making it everything again. Old yeah. is new. I, obviously, we don't really need to give this a rating. I think it's it's, it's just yeah, going to be no, obviously no. positive uh, for this movie. Um, if you need a rating for this, um, just go watch the movie and make up your own mind and stop being a follower. How about that? How about <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I can I agree. <laughs> <laughs> but if you disagree, like, share, subscribe, comment, and be like, that movie was yeah. garbage. I can't believe y'all recommended that shit. Yeah, that shit was not funny at all. Wednesday Adams was not hot in this, and I was like, because she's eight, so I don't know why you think yeah. she's <laughs> But also, just so y'all know, uh Jason loves it when we get negative comments. It's like his oh, yeah. favorite thing it's, to talk mm -hmm, about. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's my favorite thing. I love negative comments because yeah. there's parts of my anatomy I like to tell people to to you know enjoy. <laughs> Actually, since like Lisa's been on, we really haven't gotten any negative comments. <laughs> exactly. Because Lisa goes in and is like, why are you really feeling like this? Is it really because you don't like my view or is it because something is going on at home? And she figures out and like and they start crying and it's very cathartic for everybody. Like it's yeah. 
I just, just, I just thought life. YouTube was a cesspool of idiots, but now I've met you and you've changed my life. I actually do like Black Adam now. Yay! <laughs> Maybe I will go back to school and be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we have to talk about today. So I guess we reached to the point where the Elvis fans love, which is the end. Hooray. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, please, as I said, please like, share, subscribe, comment. The little algorithm, it's a monster. It's like a really hairy monster. And if you feed it all those comments, it like poops out. And, and it gives us the money. And we want the money. I need the money. I'm broke. I love, I love, poop, I love poop money. Poop, poop okay. money is my favorite. Can we talk about the algorithm real quick? Just just real quick, two seconds. Yeah, yeah of course. So, we always talk about the algorithm. Um, hey, um, so I liked a video where it was like Andrew Tate versus Jake. Is it Jake Paul? Jake Paul. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because I, so it's like talking about it, you know, like the, how the fight, the UFC fights come in, blah, blah. And it's just like, hope. And it's like, basically like, I hope Jake Paul murders him. Right. So I liked the video. I hope he gets how about now? Team. My algorithm is giving me nothing but Andrew Tate shit. Oh my God. Mm. That sucks. Yes. See, we won't do and, that to you because you'll get other cool stuff that we like, like movies yeah. and shit. So, yeah. like, I was just like, well, that's how it happens. That's how they get them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I need yeah, to just I, get a whole I, new account. My whole algorithm is screwed up now. I really, really hope Jake Paul treats him like Drago treated Apollo, and we never have to worry about that man again. That'd be great. Mm. <laughs> but also, it, isn't Andrew Tate already dead? <laughs> no. Shoot. Oh, okay. I wish. What's from thinking on my dad? <laughs> you know, I don't know who nobody is. So I know. <laughs> I'm sure there's a person named Andrew Tate who has died. <laughs> so you're right. Also, everybody, do not forget to pick up our next book club book, which mm -hmm. is the fifth season by N.K. Jessamine. I mm -hmm. picked that book. It's a little bit longer. So get it now, because it's kind of going to take us a little bit of a while, especially me, because I read slowly. I don't read like 5,000 words a minute like Lisa does. I got to read <laughs> each word out loud, and I got to ask my mom, is that the right word? And she mm -hmm. goes, yes, baby. <laughs> no, you had a black <laughs> mama. Your mama was like, you better go get that dictionary and look it up. <laughs> go to the dictionary, look it up. <laughs> so remember to pick it up, everybody. Lisa, you have any parting words for us? Um. Yes. Uh again holidays are hard the weather's been rough so check on your strong friends check on your weak friends you know uh just Good make difference. sure that if you haven't heard from someone in a while just shoot them a text say hey <laughs> um it 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 it'd be rough out there when the sun goes down at five o'clock it's not fun I only heard just shoot him. I'm like, whoa, I thought we were just a check on him. <laughs> well, shoot him, shoot him a text. Shoot him a text. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? Oh, also, um, uh, with the holidays, too, don't forget to shop local. Your local vendors are probably going to have the same thing that Amazon has. And, you know, it's not going to be uh, used. So it delivery. might cost, oh, it, it might cost like an extra dollar or two, but... Uh, just hit up your hit up your local vendors and and support them because they're what helps keep the cost down. If you can believe it, capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, any final words? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I second everything uh, Lisa says. Seasonal depression is a real thing, guys. Take care of yourself. Be healthy. Do things that make you happy. You know what makes me happy? Doing this show. You know what makes me happy? Yeah. Watching TVs and movies to do this show. So. Find things that make you happy, guys. Hopefully, we're one of those things. And if you are struggling with something, also, it's easy to say seek help, but you're more than welcome to put something in the comments or reach out to us. I think any one of us, minus probably Jason, because he's a tyrant, we will love to talk to you <laughs> and you. make sure that you feel better. I am all about healthy, <laughs> healthy mental health, all right? I will get you yeah. your resources and help out, too. Except for not. the people in your country that you're a tyrant over. Yeah, so, yeah. those besides them. I'm sorry <laughs> if I want surfs. That's it's gonna make me a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, also, yeah, just thank you guys for listening and watching. We really, 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 really do appreciate it. Hopefully, we got some new things coming in for the new year to you for you as well. Because why we'll I'll have a little bit more time. So again, just thank you all again. Yeah. All right.
And as always, everybody be kind, be considerate, uh, and tip your bartenders and service at least 20%, if not more, especially like during the holidays. Do more, please, because that's how they make their money. And if you see Jaren on the street, you know, just go ahead and look him in the eye and spit in his face. Just <laughs> <laughs> Fuck but you wanted them to say hi wow. with their fist again. Same with Jake Gyllenhaal. Same with Jake Gyllenhaal. Give back the scarf, Jake. Give it back. Give it back, Jake. <laughs> <laughs>